fifth and sixth characters are Shadawanahomagi, who is a Native American from the Havasupai tribe, and her daughter, Cree. Not only is she the first national park ranger from her tribe, but she's also the first Native American river guide along the Colorado. And so it's a really interesting thing to experience this river and her canyon with her and to learn from her. Havasu Falls is like a paradise in the middle of the desert. It's green and lush with beautiful trees that are all turning golden yellow. The falls themselves are 30 or 40 feet wide and cascade down 125 feet. And the water color is all turquoise. It's just beautiful. To me, it's, it's where the Havasupai people, Shanna's people, have lived for 800 years. And the way the Havasupai have nurtured that land, there is a lesson in that for how we should be nurturing this entire planet for the rest of eternity. To Shanna, it's a home that the Havasupai nation has fought hard to preserve in the way that it is today. She had that river in her blood and she had this kind of amazing perspective that reminded you that her people had been there for 800 years. She's um, our, our guide to let people experience the canyon in a slightly different way. Um, not simply as a tourist, but also through this other lens of someone who, whose people have been here in this canyon for centuries. And I think that she plays a big role and her philosophy and her way of life play a big role and something that we can learn from. Mm -hmm.